Hello there. Today's tutorial is going to be about facial gestures, uh, primarily for MMDs because they come pre-installed. Down the road I will create another tutorial on how to create your own custom blend shapes for face uh, and emotion. So to begin, first we're going to see if we even have any ge uh, gestures we can make on this avatar. So if you click on the body on the left side in the hierarchy, you'll notice this skin mesh renderer comes up and with it there's a tab called blend shapes. If you hit the little down arrow beside it if it's not already open, you can scroll through and you'll see the blinks that VR chat uses as well as the um, syllables that make up the mouth movements. And you'll also notice there's a couple more such as blink and blink happy. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create about three gestures for this just to give an example. Uh, just by looking through here, it looks like I'm going to be able to make an angry face. I'm going to probably be able to make a, I could make a crying face. I can make a grin or just this happy face. Um, to start, we're going to make just a happy face. Uh, so to start, I'm going to click on the model on the left side. I'm not going to just go straight to the animation tab. What I'm actually going to do is hit control D to duplicate it. And then I'm going to click on the original and hide it. The reason for this is so I can create all the gestures on the copy so I don't mess up the uh, position and everything of the default um, without having to go through the animator and delete the controller. Once you've went ahead and uh, duplicated it, you can go to the window uh, tab up here and look for animation. I've already opened the animator and the animation tab. So I actually dragged it in and added it down here so I can easily access it and switch between them. Uh, you'll notice there's a button for creating an animation. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm going to navigate to the folder uh, where I want to save the animations. I'm actually already there so I'm just going to name that uh, Kisu Smile because the name of the avatar is Kisu and this will help me track that down later. So I'm going to save that animation and I'm going to get this blank animation here with no keyframes. Uh, I'm going to click on the body here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the little red dot. What that'll do is it'll put this in this default crouching position. Uh, this is what an avatar looks like when nothing is being animated. Uh, so the only thing we're going to worry about animating is the face and the hands because those are the only things that we can control in VR. Everything else on the body, except for extra bones, um, are completely controlled by the game's IK and animator by default. So you can't create a gesture that makes your arms flat, for example, unless you made a second pair of arms that was not part of your original model. Now, in order to pose the hands, uh, I use a program called Muscle Animation Editor. It's by Pavo Studio. You can download that off of the asset store for $15 or uh, maybe have a friend give it to you or something like that. Uh, but uh, I will not provide a link to any pirated versions in this tutorial. Uh, I would just suggest buying it. It's pretty cheap. I bought it a couple of months ago uh, so, because it helps you out tremendously. So what we're going to do is to go to a tab called MA Editor, which you can find with that tool under Window, and it's called Muscle Animation Editor. And in there, you're going to see a little dot for every single joint. Now, because it's a smiley face, I'm actually going to put that on the victory gesture. So I'm going to make it simple for me, and I'm just going to put uh, the index finger and the middle finger up and I'm going to then drag the other two gestures, uh, other three fingers down so that they're in the down position like so. And then I'm going to click on the left finger tab, index spread. I'm going to spread the fingers out some more to make that peace sign. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to hit copy values to the mirror, which will copy them over to the other hand. And lastly is to actually make the emotion. So I'm going to click on just the body, go to the inspector, and this is where the blend shapes from earlier come in handy. Uh, so to make her look happy, I'm going to go with it a blink happy and change that to 100%. What that'll do is it'll close her eyes completely. And now if I wanted, I could also set it to 50%, but she looks more like she's squinting now. So we're just going to do 100. Mean, uh, uh, 
in the meantime, while this red dot is selected, it is actually recording every little change I do, so be careful. Uh, next, I'm going to find cheerful. I'm going to up that, which would up her eyebrows some to express that emotion and we'll also go to smile and that made her smile so there you go once I'm happy with the way it looks and the finger pose I'm going to click on the very top dot which will select everything I'm scrolling just to make sure and then while you're selected on that you hit Control D to copy then you go to the next frame and paste the reason for this is because hand gestures in VR chat are only a single frame long if, if it's any longer than that the animation will once you let go of the gesture it will slowly slowly rubber band back to the original position uh, because it keeps overlapping the animation because the gesture is only a frame long looping whereas if you have something more than that it keeps adding to it so when you finally let go your hand will slowly return to its old position uh, so now that we've created that one i'm going to go ahead and Continue using the same duplicate, unclip the uh, record button, and if you hit the name Kishi Smile, for example, on this one, you'll notice Create New Clip. This is really handy, so I don't have to make three duplicates. I can actually just hit Create New Clip, and I can name the next one Kisu Angry. And you can switch between any animation on here via that same button. Now I'm on Kisu Angry, so I'm going to hit the record button just like before and I'm gonna pose the fingers into a middle finger pose because she's angry on one of my hands and then on the other hand I'm actually just gonna do a full fist that way if I use the gesture on my left hand it'll do a middle finger if I do it on my right hand it will just make a fist as for her face I'm gonna click on body just like before and now I'm going to locate what I think is going to make her look angry uh, with what came with the model. Uh, let's see here. We got quite a lot to choose from. Uh, we could, uh, I'd recommend just going through and uh, checking what every single one of these mean. Uh, some of them are pretty standard. Like stare usually means she's looking at you like she is done with your shit. Um, I believe slant might yeah, go with her eyebrows. So we're going to lower those down. Now we just need to find something for her mouth. I'm just going to go through and keep doing that. However, if you change something and you do not like it, hit Control Z to undo so it does not leave a keyframe. Ah, so this model in particular comes with a very interesting eye effect that will demonstrate anger. So I'm going to go ahead and use that and just keep looking until I find something for the mouth. In this case, I can just use this at 20% to make her look like she's grinning. I now uh, am happy with this, so I'm going to do the same as before. Click on the top dot, scroll through to make sure everything's selected, hit Control c to copy, then Control v to paste in the next frame. If you're having trouble seeing the first frame, just uh, use a scroll wheel in and out on the animation window, and that is a, a great way to find it. Lastly, I'm going to make one more uh, emote. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this one, so I'm just going to call it Kiss You Other because I'm just going to check through to see if there's anything interesting because some MMBs do come with very interesting blend shapes that you can use. As you just saw, I found that one eye, ver uh, that one staticky eye, which I did not expect uh, to see. So that gave me um, quite an interesting uh, anger uh, gesture. So I'm going to see what a couple of these other ones do. Crescent Moon... All right, okay, so let's see. Perhaps we can go with... You can always go with a sad or anything like that. Droopy eyes. Yeah, let's go with uh, sad, maybe. Ah, so this is the... Oh, so sometimes you'll notice that in MMDs as well, there is a... It's always named something different, but something that collapses the eye inward into the skull... What that actually does is when it's at 100%, it actually makes it so the eye is always looking at you. It's it's kind of an illusion. It's almost like fake eye tracking if you don't have that on your avatar. So keep that in mind. Uh, so I'm going to hit record here. 
I'm gonna go through. And we're just gonna make her have a, like a derpy, like what the F face. Like, I can't believe that just happened. So we're gonna use the surprise. Let's see, we need some eyes. And there we go. That's really goofy. I'm going to go with that. And that's why I called it other. Uh, now I just need to decide which gesture I want to put that on. Angry, I'm most likely going to put on rock and roll. Uh, keep in mind that, you know, if you're going to use that as on a gesture, you're not going to be able to do the default hand pose unless you create it. Um, so for this one, I'll just make it on finger point. So I'm just going to finger uh, point of uh, finger and make sure every other part of the hand is down and copy that over. And lastly, as before, click the top dot, control C, paste control V on the next frame. And there you go. Now the final part of this tutorial is going to show you how to actually add those to the avatar. Uh, it, this is the same uh, method as you saw in my previous tutorial with Shaggy. However, I'm gonna show it to you again, just in case. Um, basically on your avatar descriptor, I'm gonna go back to the original model and I'm also gonna delete the duplicate with the animations. So I'm gonna click on the default model and you're gonna see here, I already have an override in there. And when you click on that override, it shows you the emotes and the hand gestures and even the walking animations because you can replace all of those. Now to find that, it's generally in the uh, VR Chat SDK. So if I type in, I believe it's custom override. You're going to find uh, in the right here, yes, the uh, VR Chat SDK examples area under sample assets, you're going to have a, an empty custom override. And you're going to want to click on that and hit control D so it duplicates it. And then you want to drag that duplicate into the file that you're working on. So I'm going to locate Kisu on the side here. And I'm going to drag that onto the folder. And now that I'm in there, you can see that that's in there. And I could drag that into here. And it would share the same exact overrides as that one. However, we want to use the one I was using before. So I'm going to drag that back in. And to finalize this, I'm just going to drag in the three animations from before. I'm going to drag in one, and I'm going to show you how to get them in there another way. So for angry, I'm just going to put that on rock and roll. So I'm going to line it up, rock and roll, and drop that in. And then for other, I made it on finger point, so I'm going to drag it on the finger point. Now the last one, smile, I'm going to put on victory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this dot right at the very right of it. And I'm going to type in kiss you. And I'm going to see all three of the ones I've already made, and I want smile, so I'll just click on smile. So now that all of those are in there, all I have to do is upload that to VRChat, and I'm going to switch over and show you the gestures working in-game right now. All right, now that I'm in-game, you can see that now that I've uploaded the avatar, if I go through the gestures, which on desktop are the shift keys with the F to F8 keys, I can go to F4, and it does the goofy face, which is finger point. F5, which was uh, victory, which is smile. And an F6, which is rock and roll, which shows her angry. Uh, you can also see that her hand will be doing the middle finger, just like we did. Uh, to demonstrate, I can also pick up the cup. And I could uh, show you that she is making the hand gestures, just like we created. All right, well, that about covers it for face gestures, at least on MMD models. Down the road, I will make a video on how to make those gestures that you saw on your face when they do not exist on the model. You can make whatever you want. You can make the head bigger, etc. Um, but as always, uh, thank you for watching. And you can always watch on my Twitch, me create models and ask questions live, or subscribe on my Patreon to download models and um, install them yourself uh, without having to do much work yourself. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day.